Well, the rain's been falling off and on all day long here in the Tennessee Valley. That's what's left of what was once Hurricane Ida. News 12's meteorologist Becca Birdsaw spent her day tracking down that weather damage. She joins us now live from Hamilton County. Becca, what are you seeing? Driving through and up Lookout Mountain has been like driving through a cloud, so visibility is greatly reduced, and we're seeing some pretty consistent moderate rainfall here, and that combined with some stronger wind gusts have caused several downed trees and wires, including the tree that was down behind me. Good news is didn't land on any valuable property, didn't land on a house, but across Hamilton County, we've seen nearly 10 reports of road closures that have that have been caused by down trees and wires. Take a look. It's been a soaker for the Tennessee Valley due to the remnants of Ida. There have been nearly 10 reports of road closures today due to down trees and power lines. EPB and the Office of Emergency Management have crews on standby to clear debris. They ask that residents be patient for them to clear it. First responder agencies are on alert. Um, to make sure that they have all the chainsaws ready to go in the event that we have trees down and get those um, roads back up and running. A flash flood watch continues until Wednesday afternoon for Hamilton County. Amy Maxwell from the Hamilton County Office of Emergency Management says if you can, stay home. When we have the flash flooding, um, I've seen so many time and time again of residents or motorists, I should say, that drive through these flash flooded streets and unfortunately, you know, we can't emphasize it enough, the importance of turning around and don't drown. Reporting in Hamilton County, Becca Birdsaw, News 12 Now. Tonight would be a great night to stay indoors and maybe watch one of your favorite movies or TV shows as it looks like we'll have a next few days. Looks like we'll have a nice next few days. So reporting live in Lookout Mountain, Becca Birdsaw, News 12 Now.